All right, hey, we've got the audio muted. We're rolling this week, people. We're going to get this right, I swear. Uh, just, just in time for SEC play, I am finally figuring out how to make this as palatable for you all as possible. Anyway, okay, so we're just going to start with the opening defensive series here. Um, go over a little bit of the things we see. I really like this set. Uh, they got a little lucky here on first down. Um, but beyond that, again, I, in a lot of ways, they played this really well. Uh, Mensa checks down and just gets a little lucky. We'll, we'll go into the play here. So you're going to have, and I don't remember if it's just straight boot or if they, yeah, yeah, they boot him out. Okay, so down, Ethan Downs, nice pressure in his face right there. Um, <clears throat> honestly, Oklahoma, like, I don't think they did anything wrong here. I think this is the way maybe Malone sinks a little too much because um, he clearly had help over the top here uh, from Robert Spears Jennings. So I, I think maybe that's a little bit of a misread. But you look at it here. Let's let's go back through the play just kind of briefly. Um, so here you're going to have Mario Williams. He's going to work from the uh, out here into the flat. Yep. This guy's going to come on a crosser. What I do like, though, watch this guy coming here. You've got Kanai Walker. He's got that covered. Like I said, Ethan Downs, good pressure in his face. Kobe McKenzie's kind of working down. You've got Danny Stutzman chasing this crosser. And you, uh, the other thing, watch Billy Bowman come up, and he's going to – he really takes this throw away from Mensa. Um, and watch him close so fast. Like, that's – I don't even know let's, – let's see if Mensa's looking that way. Yeah, he is. He's reading this, makes a good decision. He sees Bowman coming downhill, and I'm sure <laughs> – they probably had several meetings where it's like, if two's in the area, just don't, don't do that. Don't make that mistake. And he thought about it, and then he decides to check down to Mario Williams, who drops the ball. Mario playing really good football for Tulane, and he, he was always a nice guy to, for me to deal with. So, you know, wish him good luck and that kind of stuff. But really had a decent day, just had a bad drop there. All right, let's move to second and ten. Um, okay, so here you've got him, you know, Single back, little H back look here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this, watch R. Mason Thomas here off the top. Watch him come off that corner, and he really just destroys this play before it ever has a chance to get going. He's there so fast, that tight end just lunges. It's all he can do. Back has to take a step this way, and then it just, Danny's there too fast because he almost. The way that plays, R. Mason plays that so hard. I'm guessing that's kind of a deal where they're they're telling R. Mason, hey, if you're going to do this, if you're going to get upfield this hard, you better be right. Like, you better get there enough to impact this play. But to his credit, Robert Spears Jennings is coming up. And the way Robert's playing right now, I feel confident he makes this play even if Danny's not there in time. Um, but, again, really just – Good team defense, good understanding of what everybody's doing there. I, I like that that whole thing a lot. Um, okay, so moving to third down here, and I'm trying to remember. Again, I kind of went over this briefly, and then I got had to restart my computer. It's been a whole thing this morning. Um, oh, wa watch PJ Adebarroe here coming in on. I, I like that they're you. I, it seems to be this is how they're warming him up, getting him into the the flow of the season is bringing him in in some pass rushing situations. And I really like some of the stuff they're doing here. Um, so you've got, uh, let's see, PJ here, Grayson Halton here, Danny up top. Um, and then you've got, uh, Ar I had missed, wow. Okay, I had totally missed. And I, again, I'm sure some of you were screaming, like, what were you watching during the game, Josh? But I had missed this. This Mike linebacker double A gap stuff they're running with R. Mason Thomas and Trace Ford here. That's <laughs> there's no accident that was shown the week before Tennessee. They're wanting to give Tennessee as much eye candy to look at as they can to try and get ready for. Um, that's pretty interesting. Um, Tulane did a nice job all game long picking up some OU's blitzes. Um, I, I thought they really communicated well. And did a nice job handling a lot of that stuff. They they were better with the details blocking up front than Oklahoma was, in my opinion, it, for for large portions of this game. Um, but anyway, so a solid opening series. 
saw some different things there and even saw something that surprised me a little bit.